And next up here tonight, the verdict is in and the winner is the Big Apple, now officially home to the tallest building in America. The decision was not about a tape measure, so is it fair? How did Chicago come up a few feet short? ABC's Bob Woodruff has the news. When we climbed to the top of the new One World Trade, it felt like the top of the world. Oh my God. And today we know it will soon be officially the tallest building in America, beating out Chicago's Willis Tower in a fierce competition. When you line the two buildings up, the Willis Tower is actually 83 feet taller. But when you add the Freedom Tower spire, it soars to a symbolic 1,776 feet. The heated debate, does the spire count? The height committee's verdict today, yes it does. When One World Trade is complete, it will become the third tallest building in the world. Number two, Saudi Arabia's Mecca Royal Clock Tower. The tallest, that's in Dubai, the Burj Khalifa, topping us by 941 feet. Engineers today say there is no reason we cannot build a building that's a mile high. The biggest problem, altitude sickness, but they can pressurize the air for that. Mostly they're built out of pride, ego, hubris, but here in New York, we have reasons all our own. Do you have a message to Americans when they see this thing being rebuilt? I'd say be proud of what's going up. And America should be proud knowing that we did it every day for everybody. Bob Woodruff, ABC News, New York.